guys today I am filming my hair skin and body inventory for 2022 I did film this in January and July of last year and in my January 2021 video I did do comparisons to my numbers in January 2020 which I didn't film but I did calculate and wow my collection has changed a lot over the past two years and I'm really proud of how I've gotten it down and some of these categories have gone up since last time but I'm okay with it because of the specific products that I have and or the way they entered my life and I do try to keep my products in check by a couple of different ways first being my sample project pan series which I update monthly I will have my playlist linked for you guys that is where I review all my hair skin and body products that I'm working on and the things that I end up decluttering and by doing those videos it has made me so much more excited to use these products which is amazing and like I said the other way I'm getting rid of things is decluttering and I am super fortunate to get skincare PR from Derma E, Dr. Zenobia, and Replenix basically every month which is amazing but definitely accumulates so I've been trying to be better about like when things are coming and really looking at them seeing if I need a backup of something like do you need another backup and really seeing if it's something that I think is gonna work well with my skin type and my preferences. And if not, I'm trying to pass it on right away. I did a really good job of that. Same thing with Ulta Free Gifts. They tend to give us hair, skin, and body products more than makeup. And I was trying to be selective of the things that I kept, just things I really love or things that I really, really want to try. I don't need to try everything just because I've never tried it before. So I did a good job of that. I want to continue doing that this year. If you're interested, I did film an end of the year roundup of that sample project pan where I, I go over like a lot of stuff in there, but I do calculate all the things I used up and decluttered, which like blew my mind how many things that I had in my collection to use up and declutter. So definitely check that out. I also go over some specific category goals that I met, which was basically like using up some neglected things and some of them I really fell in love with. So I'm hoping to keep that momentum going this year. And in my makeup inventories, I have a specific goal for every category. I do not have that for hair, skin and body because my collection does fluctuate so much due to things I'm receiving for free, not due to purchases. So I don't have like, punish myself by being like oh you didn't meet your goal because it's not because I like went hog wild purchasing things. So I'm going to flip my camera around show you the products on the floor category by category comparing my numbers to six months ago and I'm going to be letting you know the way that my collection has changed so what things I used up decluttered and the new things that I've brought into my life. I hope you guys enjoy it this way. I tend to, it's gonna be a long video because of the way that I'm doing it, but I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. For makeup remover, I currently have three. In July, I also had three, so my numbers have stayed the same. But what has changed would be that I did finally use up that mini Lancome Biopacil face, and I did use up one of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balms. I am currently using that one, and then I got two others in PR. The Vitabrid, daily c balancing cleansing balm and the derma e universal cleansing balm i'm very excited to try those and see how they compare to the clinique which is my favorite so happy i got those though that because the clinique is usually in the ulta skin event which happens twice a year but it was not included this time which is a bummer but i think it should last me a while especially because i don't use makeup every day but I'm totally fine with where I'm at with this category. For mini cleansers, I currently have eight in July. I had nine, so my numbers did go down. I used up the Peach and Lily Power Calm, Dermalogica Active Clay, the Kinship Naked Papaya, and the Drunk Elephant Bestie Jelly Cleanser. I ended up decluttering the Proactive Deep Cleansing Face Wash, Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel, and the Mario Badescu enzyme cleansing gel and I'm currently working on the philosophy on the bottom left and the one that has the tape on it my friend Amanda sent that to me then also I got some freebies from Ulta that included the good molecules cleansing bar and the Carez cleanser and then the belief aqua bomb jelly cleansers I got those in some skincare sets so I'm pretty good with where I'm at I should be done with that philosophy purity in a week or two 
And then I'm going to use my next oldest. So we'll see if that's a mini or a full size. But I'm totally fine with where I'm at and the products that I have. I have not tried the Crez and the Good Molecules before, but I'm very interested too. For full size face cleansers, I currently have four. In July, I had six. So my numbers went down. I used up the L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser, the Detox and Brighten version. And then I decluttered the Derma E Foaming Cloud Cleanser, the nude sticks gentle hydro gel and the derma e cleansing paste and i have gotten another of the benzoyl peroxide acne cleanser from dr Zenovia and this four ounce bottle of the philosophy purity cleanser that my friend amanda sent to me dr Zenovia came in pr so i am not mad about this and i'm excited to work through some of these this year for face scrubs i currently have three in july i had two so my numbers went up i used up the pure joystick exfoliating deep pore cleanser which i loved still have the clinique which is one of my favorites and then i got the tula so polish sugar scrub as an ulta diamond gift and the skin research new reflection perfecting polish i got in a subscription box pr package so I'm totally fine with where I'm at. For toner, I currently have nine. In July, I had five, so my numbers have gone up. I used up the Pixi Retinol Tonic and I decluttered the Jumbo Glow Tonic to my sister. I'm almost done with the Saturday Skin one. And the things that are new would be one of those Dr. Novia Vitamin C Brightening Toners which I got in PR, the Balance Me BHA Concentrate Liquid I got in a subscription box through PR, and then the Four Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Toners I got in sets. And this category is a little bit larger than I would like it to be. I will be doing some traveling this year, and one of my goals is to make myself do my skincare when I travel, so I should be able to get through a couple of those beliefs. And the Tower 28 I plan on using under my mask on top of my makeup because I've heard a lot of people like that product that way and I'm going to be going back to the office more regularly soon. So that's my plan for that. If I try the Dr. Zenobia and I don't like it, I'll pass on the backup, but I think it should work just fine. So I definitely hope to have this category down by my next update. For serums, I currently have 10. In July, I had nine, so my numbers did go up in this category. So I used up the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum and the Olay Deep Hydration Serum. I did end up using about two thirds of the Murad Outsmart Acne Clarifying Treatment and then I tossed it because it really wasn't doing much for me. And I'm currently working on the number seven lift and illuminate which should be done in about a month and then also the skin food peach one. The new things I have would be the Replenix caffeine fortifying calming serum. I got that in PR. The number seven advanced retinol 1.5% complex I got as a diamond gift from Ulta and then I did purchase the two selfless by Hiram and the Inkyless salicylic acid and C kelp pore clearing and oil control serums. They were decently affordable and hopefully I love them since I have the both. And I do not have any mini serums right now, which is great. So I can dedicate more time to these. Whenever I get minis, I will use them though. So I'm worried about how many of these that I can get through, but a lot of these are new to me. So if I don't love the scent or the texture, I will pass them on. So I'm very curious to see where I'll be at in six months. For moisturizer minis, I currently have 10. In July, I had 18. So my numbers have gone down in this category. I used up the Laneige Water Bank Moisturizer, Murad Oil Free Water Gel, Dr. Zenovia Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizer, and four mini aqua bombs. And I did declutter the Laneige Water Sleeping Cream, the H2O Hydrating Oasis, and the Belief Sika Cream. So now I only have Belief, which is my favorite brand. So I still have the one. Aqua Bomb Aloe Vera 
I have now two of the Aquabomb sleeping mask. I have four of the original Aquabomb and three of the moisturizing balm. Super happy with this. I want to get through these this year, but hang on to a couple for traveling. For full size moisturizers, I currently have 10. In July, I had six, so my numbers have gone up a lot. And I ended up decluttering the Bliss Quench and Drench, the Dr. Zenobia Peptide and Ceramide Repairing Moisturizer, the Too Faced Hangover RX Good to Go, and the Replenix Age Restore Nighttime Therapy. So what I have now that is new would be the Replenix Glycolic Acid Resurfacing Cream, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, I now have two full-size Belief Aqua Bombs, one full-size Belief Moisturizing Balm, the Replenix Age Restore Brightening Moisturizer I'm using right now and loving it. I now have two of the Dr. Isnovia Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizers because I really love that as well. And I have one of their Vitamin C Moisturizers. So the Neutrogena I got super sale from Ulta Replenix were PR, Dr. Zenovia were PR, Belief I got in a set on sale. Very happy to finally have my favorite in full size, but yet I do still want to try these other ones that I have here. So I have enough moisturizer to last me the next two years probably, and I'm okay with that. For eye cream, I currently have seven. In July, I had one. So my numbers have gone up a lot, but I am not mad about this because... You see, now I have so many more of my favorite Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I got some of those as Point Park. Some of those came in sets with the moisturizers, and I did get two full sizes. And then I also have the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream that I got as a Sephora coupon code. Just a different formula I want to try. And this is my favorite eye cream and I'm totally fine having this mini. It takes me like a month to get through one of those little mini jars. So I feel pretty optimistic of where I will be at as I'm focusing on minis because they're older by July. For spot treatment, I currently have one. In July, I had two. So my numbers did go down. I decluttered the Dr. Zenobia Benzoyl Peroxide spot treatment to my sister because I just wasn't using it because this one was currently open and I've been very fortunate that I haven't needed to use spot treatment too often so I didn't want it to go bad but if I do get another from Dr. Zenobia I will hang on to it because I'm a little bit more than halfway done with this one from Lemongrass Spa which I'm really loving so of course I'm fine just having one in this category. For peels I currently have five in July I had six so my numbers did go down and that is because I used up both packs I had of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels, which were really nice. And the new one I have would be the Replenix Glycolic Acid 10% Resurfacing Peel. I really like the peel pads. I'm excited to make myself try the Derma E to try a different type of peel, but the peel pads are definitely the easiest things for me to use. And I'm currently using this one from Dr. Zenobia. For face masks, I currently have six. In July, I had three, so my numbers did go up. I got all of these as freebies. I now have a second Glam Glow Youth Mud, the Bright Mud, the Thirsty Mud, and the smaller size of the Super Mud. And I did use up the purple one, the gravity mud. So I do have a goal of trying to get through all of these this year, which means I need to pull one out like right now. For sheet masks, I currently have none because I used up the Corona matte mud face mask and I decluttered the Dermy E under eye patches. It's just not something that I would enjoy using. For SPF, I currently have five. In July, I also had five. So my numbers had stayed the same. I used up one of the tool SPS and I decluttered both of the first aid beauty weightless liquid mineral sunscreens. I don't recommend either of those. No, no, no. And the new ones I've gotten would be that little mini super goop glow screen. I got as a hundred point perk from Sephora, the make it black matte sunscreen. Justin bought for me from Target. I'm so excited to try that this summer. And then the Derma E SPF powder I got in PR which I'm excited to use to touch up or set my makeup, but mostly for my hairline. I think that will be really helpful. So 
definitely gonna get through these this year. I actually have another little sample that I used up last year that I fell in love with, but I wanna get through these first. So again, I'm excited to see where I'll be at in six months or mostly by the end of the year is when I think I'll see the most change. For shampoo and conditioner minis, I currently have 16 in July. I had 40, so my numbers have gone down a lot, which is so amazing. And I have used up a lot, but I did declutter a lot of things as well. So now I just have a few shampoo and conditioner sets and then I have my like special shampoos and hair masks and a lot has changed since last time basically everything is new except for the dry bar blonde ale shampoo and conditioner the briogeo scalp scrub and the way scrub and the authentic beauty concept hair mask everything else here is new so we have five shampoo conditioner sets. What I'm using right now is the Dry Bar Blonde Ale. And then I have the Madison Reed Color Protecting, the John Frieda Violet Crush for blondes. And then from Virtue, I have their Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner and the Full Shampoo and Conditioner. So like I said, I'm currently working on the Dry Bar. I want to use up the Virtue ones in a trip I have planned in March. And then for the John Frieda and the Madison Reed, I'm just going to keep those to use for traveling this year. I'm not going to specifically try to work through them because that will be all I have for travel. So I'm super happy with how much I've gotten this down. And then for my specialty products, I have the First Aid Beauty Anti-Dandruff Shampoo, Briogeo Scalp Revival Exfoliating Shampoo, the Way Scalp and Body Scrub, Way Fine to Medium Hair Mask, the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mask, and Authentic Beauty Concept Replenishing Mask. For full-size shampoo and conditioners, I currently have 10. In July, I also had 10. And I did use up the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock, which I love. And I decluttered the Hass Clarifying Shampoo. The new ones I've gotten would be the Kristen S. Micellar Shampoo and Scalp Scrub. I really hope that I like those, but they weren't too expensive. And I'm happy with this as well. I am gonna be focusing on my Bosley shampoo and conditioner for most of this year. So it is possible that the other things will still be here at the six months update for sure, but probably at the end of the year as well. But we'll see, I am not mad about this amount of products. So for shampoo and conditioner as a whole, I went from 50 to 26. And this dry bar conditioner has one or two more applications left. So if I use that up, then I will have 25, exactly half of where I was six months ago, which feels so good. So then we have my dry shampoos. I currently have four in July. I had 16, so my numbers have gone down a lot, but I did declutter several to my sister because she uses a lot of dry shampoo. So I used up a mini Redken Deep Clean, a Kristen S, four minis from dry bar one of them was the clear version and then i did declutter the beach waver second chance one full size and two minis of the red candy clean the big sexy hair and the way dry shampoo foam i just didn't love those and it feel like they did much for me but honestly i feel like i should have maybe kept the red can ones to use when i was filming because i don't know i want to waste these because they're so good but at the same time i'm totally happy being down to just having my favorite which is this dry bar detox dry shampoo. These don't go on sale very often. So if they do go on sale any throughout this year, I will definitely purchase them. These are incredible. So super happy with where I'm at. For hairspray, I currently have two. In July, I also had two. I had these same ones, the Redken Triple Take and the Chi Firm Hold Hairspray. I got both of these as freebies. I never use hairspray, but I wanna hold on to it just in case. So. I'm probably gonna have these two for a while. So then for my texturizers and volumizers, I have six currently. In July, I had 14, so my numbers have gone down. I actually decluttered a few right before this video because I got real with myself and I might not even use these, much less, you know, a few extras. So I used up the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray, which I love and want to repurchase. And then the things that I declutter would be the IGK Antisocial like Dry Mask, which is just a weird thing. Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray, the Southern Bell Root Lifter from Dry Bar, two Amica Undone Volume and Matte Texture Sprays, the John Frieda 
big sexy hair and the matrix total results miss mess which was a full size so i'm happy with where i'm at i definitely want to try all these this year and i want to get through them i'm hoping that i try to like um braid my hair and then take it out and you know make it wavy a lot this spring summer and if i do that then i should be able to get some use out of these and once i try the igk if i don't like it i'll pass it on but i just can't make myself pass it yet because i'm at thinking that for some reason I'm just going to fall absolutely in love and use it every day. For leave-in hair products, I currently have 16. In July, I also had 16. So my numbers have stayed the same, but the products has changed. I did use up two of the original. It's a 10, but then I got two more in this newer packaging. And I did declutter the Briogeo Farewell Frizz and two of the Dry Bar Jumpstart products and I did use up the Moroccan oil leave-in treatment dang I can't believe that's it but I guess it does take me a couple months to get through them so I also got the Moroccan oil recently and both of these Olplex number no. six bond smoothers and the whey leave-in conditioner so that's why my numbers have stayed the same I want to work through these I have a bunch of formulas that I love and then just some new things I really want to try out but I've gotten this down a lot over the past two years and I'm super happy with where I'm at. Moving on to body products for body wash. I currently have seven in July. I had five so my numbers went up and I did use up one of the Bath and Body Works Calm body washes and I did declutter my two winter candy apple. Unfortunately that scent doesn't work on me anymore with the way my hormones have changed after having Landon, which is so sad because I used to love that, but it smelled rotten on me and they were new body washes, not old at all. So I had to pass those on, which is a huge bummer. So I did replace them with the Bath and Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom body wash. And I'm about halfway through the Calm and then like a quarter of the way through the Japanese Cherry Blossom. Then I bought the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser to use on my KP on my arms, but I'm not counting that as a treatment product because that will probably be used on more of my body. Then I got the Olay one for Christmas and the Molten Brown came in a subscription box. So I'm totally fine with where I'm at. Like I said, I will be traveling a bit this year. So I'm hoping to, you know, just naturally work my way through these. I don't plan on getting rid of any of them unless for some reason I don't like the scent of the Molten Brown, but I think it should be fine. So totally fine with where I'm at. I do not think this is excessive and this is something that I use. For body scrub, I currently have two. In July, I had three. So my numbers did go down, which is great. And all the products are different. So unfortunately, I did end up throwing out the Pixi Peel and Polish it had just gotten too old and it smelled. I used up the First Day Beauty KP Bump Eraser and I did pass on the Lemongrass Mary Berry Body Polish. And again, something about that scent was no longer working with my like new post baby hormones, which is a bummer because I really liked the consistency of that. So I had to pass that on and I had bought a full size. So that was, that was very disappointing. So what I have now would be the Soap and Glory Flake Away, which is just a little travel size. And then I have the Derma E microdermabrasion scrub which is a face scrub but I really think that will be nice to use on my body so that is my plan for both of these and I think I can get through those by the end of the year no problem for body lotion I currently have five in July I had four but one of those was the Derma E scar gel and I've kind of moved that to be more of a treatment medicine product because I'm using it on such a small surface area from time to time so I'm going to remove that from my July number so instead of it being four then I'm going to take that number down to three and I changed everything so the Derma E eczema relief cream I actually used that up on land and it worked really nicely and now I'm using the Derma E vitamin E 12,000 IU cream on him as well I like that one as well I like the eczema one a little bit better because it doesn't have a cucumber scent, but the texture works well on him. So I'm super happy to use it up that way. You guys know I'm bad about lotion. And then I did end up decluttering the Hemp's Triple Moisture Body Cream Summer Edition. I just didn't love the fruity, melony scent to it. So what I have now would be the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Lotion for Rough and Bumpy Skin, which again, I will be using on my KP, especially this spring-summer. Then I did get 
two minis of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Candy Cane, which was a new scent they released last year that smells so good. They only made it in the two ounce size. I already used one up and then I have these two. And then I bought two of the Jumbo Squeeze Tubes of the regular Ultra Repair Cream that Sephora comes out with on Black Friday. And this is one of the only lotions I actually like the consistency of and the way it sinks into the skin. I don't like their other permanent scents. So I just hope they come up with candy cane again next year and maybe I'll try the other holiday scents. But I'm super happy with where I'm at with these. I got them on good deals and these are products that work for me, except I can't say that about the CeraVe yet, but I think I can definitely get through it. I'm excited to try. For self tanner, I currently have four. In July, I had seven, so my numbers did go down and that was due to decluttering. I just couldn't justify keeping all those things because I wasn't using them. I was too scared. So I did declutter the Australian Glow Gradual Tanning Lotion, the St. Tropez Express Mousse, and the Tan Lux Face Oil. So what I have left is the Isle of Paradise High Glow Body Serum, two minis of the Bondi Sands Foam because if I really like it and I want to make sure like you know, I can get some full body applications. And then I did keep the St. Tropez face mist because I really want to try all those different formulas and we'll see what works. This is one of my goals for this year. So I'm going to do it this spring, summer, but I'm really scared. I got some great feedback from you guys on application in my goals video, but I would love, you know, I, I can't have too many tips. For random body products, I currently have 11. In July, I had nine, so my numbers did go up. I got another freebie of the Mega Babe Space Bar underarm bar and the mega babe bust dust finally restocked and i haven't used any of the mega babe things yet i am planning on doing a review this spring summer which makes me feel so much like sheree from atlanta housewives but i mean it i mean it you're gonna see it from me just like you're about to see it from her this next season her fashion line i can't wait and I am currently trying that Kopari body mask. I, the, the whole concept is dumb to me. So I'm going to use that up. I actually had another that I've already decluttered because like I'm going to have a hard time getting through that. But yeah, as I try these things, if they don't work, I'll pass them on. But I really hope that I can make them work and I'm excited about them. And I, I got to do it this year. I got to do it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it wasn't too boring, but I did just film a makeup inventory a couple videos back if you want to check that out. That might be a little bit more fun, but I really like these as well. I'm super proud of myself and I'm hoping that I will have even better numbers at the six month mark. And I would love to hear your numbers in all these categories down below. What is your favorite hair, skin, and body product to test or to collect? or just like your holy grail products in these categories, I would love to know that as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.